Welcome to EngineeringTechnologyPress.com. I'm Eric, and since everybody has a top 10 list, uh, I'll introduce mine. And so, welcome to Tool Tuesdays. And this won't be a top 10 list. This will be my list of top tools that you need to get, or at least excuses why you're going to find them uh, to pay for themselves, or be essential parts of your workshop, um, as if you need uh, extra excuses to purchase tools. So what is the number one tool in my book? Um, I think it has to be the granddaddy of them all. The thing that uh, really during World War II, theft of them from aircraft plants convinced the manufacturer that there was a civilian market for them. And that's a pretty good indication when somebody's willing to rob the war effort uh, to foster their own workshop, you can judge the print tool pretty well. And that, of course, is the electric drill. And uh, Black & Decker, I think, was the original manufacturer, and uh, they were really inspired by theft. Now, why is this the best tool around there, the power tool that you need to have? Because it can do ma so many things. Um, it can, of course, drill holes, and you can use regular bits and get a nice couple of nice big sets of bits. Um, this is one of my many sets. You'll find that sometimes you break many more, one particular size, and these usually these have more of the smaller size that you break anyway. But when these go on sale, pick up a few. You'll also notice that if you're using a 3 8 inch drill, which this is, you'll need to get for the larger size bits a reduced shank so that it might step down, in this case half inch, can step down to being 3 eighths and fit in the drill. So it can drill with that. You can also drill, and these are suitable for metal as well as wood. Of course if you're doing it with metal, use oil once you've started uh, the hole um, in order to uh, lubricate the bit and reduce heat. Uh, you don't need to do that with wood. You've got a variety of other wood wood bits. These are Forzner bits. They drill really nice straight holes. Cheaper, faster, and easier. And ones that you're going to use if you have to drill extra big holes in wood or might risk the bit is a spade bit. Uh, these come in lots of sizes. This is 1 1 8. Um, easily handled by a driller this size. And they also come with drill bit extensions, like we used when we built uh, the cider press. There's also, if you need to go to larger holes, there's a variety of hole drills that you can use. This is one style with uh, adjustable wings, and it will spin around, and these will cut your circle out. There's also the more traditional whoop, circle hole drills like this. It's a bimetal one. It'll handle both uh, metal as well as wood, of course. Beyond that, probably one of the more often used things is with a uh, power bit set to drive all of your screws. This makes life so much easier, you, uh, but you will wear them out. Buy a big set. They make great birthday gifts, Christmas gifts, and special occasion gifts and you'll be using a lot yourself. Then you can also mount a whole lot of brushes. Wire brushes are handy. I tend to use my angle grinder for my wire brushes, but right here we've got a buffing wheel, and this was what I was using when I was buffing out uh, the stainless steel that uh, we welded up into uh, the pizza oven when we did that project. Really, really nice, really easy and the electric handle makes it possible without breaking a sweat. Now, why do I recommend corded over cordless? And cordless drills, and I've got a couple, and you can get really good professional ones that are pretty expensive, those ones are really nice. A corded drill, I think, offers you the best power, best option for the money. Um, these are cheap. You know, a good quality one is well under 50 bucks. Um, probably if you're looking at Harbor Freight or one of those um, on sale, you know, you're looking at a pretty good one for $25, $30. It has a lot of power for that price. 
way more than you'd ever get out of uh, a cordless drill with a battery. The battery won't die. You can buy, it uses relatively little electricity. This is a 3 8 which is 4 amps. So not a whole lot of electricity. You can afford to buy a really light gauge long extension cord to bring electricity to this from far away. Um, granted, cordless drills are great for putting in a few screws or things like that, but if you're going to be busy with it, corded works very nicely, especially at the price point. Also, you know, you can get one of the light generators, uh, those two cycle generators. If you're working off site, these can easily handle it. And you can easily handle it, as in this case, with an inverter running off a battery if you're really concerned about what to do when the lights go out and still be able to use your power tools. And these frequently go on sale for about 20 bucks. So even when you're away from home and you've got your vehicle, you can still plug in an extra long extension cord into your inverter and run your drill. So that's my number one choice for the most essential hand tool, electric power tool to have in your workshop. So for this and other cool things, go to EnduringTechnologyPress.com. Thanks.